So listen, I was debating whether I should do a video like this in, in July, but we all know the next holiday is Halloween. Last time I was at Hobby Lobby, I saw everybody starting to stack the shelves full of fall decor. So now is the time since they're putting everything out. I might as well show all my friends what they have in the stores this year. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go today and I made myself a delicious fall protein, pumpkin, cinnamon, delicious, what is this, a protein shake. So I'll be sipping this and giving myself those fall vibes while I drive myself to Hobby Lobby. Obviously I'm not gonna be buying anything because I would never buy them full price, but I do wanna get some ideas of anything I wanna switch up this year. You know, like do they have anything new? Is it the same stuff? They usually have a lot of the same things, but I'm just curious to see what they have. Are you guys podcast people or music in the car? I usually listen to music in the car, but lately I've been loving podcasts. Like I listen to them all day. That's like a recent thing. But if I'm being honest, I'll probably have Christmas music on because we're doing fall things today and there isn't fall music. Not that I know of anyway. So when I'm feeling festive, I listen to Christmas. So my Hobby Lobby did not have a ton of stuff out yet. You could tell down most of the aisles that they had a lot of the same thing. Like some of the aisles were just like one item. So that's probably the same thing you guys would be seeing at your stores as they are slowly bringing things out. But I would just be checking every week. I know by August, that's usually when everything is on sale. So that is just a few more weeks away. But there are a few things that I found this year that I will definitely be picking up. I know for sure that I will be getting this pumpkin pie and hot cocoa sign once it is 40% off it'll be around $12 and so I'll just wait for that but this is one of my favorite signs I don't know if it was here last year it might have been but this isn't something that I remember seeing I also love this giant pumpkin patch sign I don't know if I will have space for this in my home but this is another one of my favorites I also love those black hello pumpkin signs I think that those are really beautiful I feel like Hobby Lobby always does really well in the sign department and they are always so affordable This Hello Pumpkin sign is another one of my favorites. It's ginormous. I try to stand back so you could see it takes up a couple of the racks, uh, but this would be a really fun sign to have. I don't know if I, again, have space for it, but now that I've seen it, I will try to find somewhere in my home for that sign. So I thought these were really cool. I don't think I've ever seen these before, but they're leather leaves and they're black, a light brown and a tan color. So I thought that that was a really fun new garland. And then of course they always have these beaded garlands as well as these burlap garlands. The next aisle I went down was where all the pumpkins are. And again, you can kind of see here, they're just spreading things out because they don't have everything in stock yet. But I think that this is the same thing every year. They always have just different varieties and different colors of pumpkins, as well as some pumpkin stems. Okay, I had to include this because it made me laugh so hard. But when we walked down this aisle, my husband read this as fall la 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 la. <laughs> and I said, I think that that says fall. <laughs> but because again, there were so many, um, he's like, well, it's not my fault. They're all put together and it looks like fall la la la. But I really love this metal pumpkin stand. They kind of look like little lanterns hanging there. And I think you could put some candles in there. And that might be something that I pick up this year. I also loved these farmer grown little tin cans. They have a pumpkin one, a sunflower one, and an apple one. And those are something I will for sure be picking up. I also thought that this little bench was so cute. And again, it'll be around $17 once it is 40% off. And I also really liked this wooden stand and these large wooden bowls. I think that these will be really pretty for fall. 
I don't think I've ever seen these before, but there were three little crows and these are something I will definitely be picking up. I thought they were so cute. And these give me a little bit more of some Halloween vibes, which you never really find at Hobby Lobby. These amber bottles, I actually have a few of them. I got them a few years ago and I always use them at fall time and they are something that I can kind of carry throughout the different seasons. So I love those. I feel like you could never go wrong with amber bottles. Now we are in the floral section and when I saw these pumpkin bouquets, I thought these were so beautiful. These were $29.99. Obviously you can wait till they're 50% off. So they'd be around $15. Uh, they had a ton of fall florals. So I think that these were pretty much stocked. I'm just going to try to show you up close of some of these different stems, but I really feel like they had something for everyone, whether you're going for red and orange tones or more neutral colors for fall. They really had just about everything in stock for anyone. These large greenish and orange stems are some of my favorite. And last year I had these kind of everywhere in my house. So if you remember my decor last year, you probably remember seeing these. I really like these yellow and orange leaves and I was really loving these more neutral tan colored leaves. I think that these are something that I will be grabbing for myself this year. And one of the last things I saw were these cone arrangements, like they have a bunch of pumpkins inside of them. So I had Thomas grab me down one so you could see up close how large it was, but I just thought these were kind of cool. And I don't know if I remember seeing these before. So that's everything that I saw in this haul. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this shop with me. I don't do these very often, but I do like to do them. So if you guys are interested in seeing more as the season gets a little bit closer, please let me know down below. I'd also love to know what your favorite items that you saw were. So be sure to leave a comment down below. Thank you guys again for watching. If you haven't yet hit that red subscribe button, make sure you do that. I upload new videos every Monday and Thursday. So be sure to also click the bell so you guys never miss another video. Thank you guys again and we'll see you in the next video.